Hello everyone, happy Tuesday. I'm so excited to work with you guys again on this Lady Death blank. So I am hoping to finish her up on this stream. So it's all actually black. The ink is black, it's just there's a bit of a glare. So that's why it's uh, looking lighter on that side. Um, so this is a commission that uh, went on my wait list in 2017 <laughs> and I will be meeting up with the woman who this piece is for at Fan Expo Canada. So I figured I really better motivate my ass and get this piece done. So um, I will be working on it with you guys today and finishing it up. And then if I have more time, I'll move on to Divinica or I have another commission that's, you know, about halfway done as well. So get these finished. Yay, yay. Um, I did a little bit of work on it yesterday and because yesterday was Thanksgiving here in Canada. So I gave myself, I declared myself some free time <laughs> and I got some of the work done, but there is much more to do and I will be working on it today. So um, this piece is specifically, it's a blank that Coffin Comics created for uh, some of their backers or um, longtime followers. And so this is a blank that has her name written on the back. So um, yes, love the orange. It's the, it's a, uh, it's not as orange as it looks on the camera, maybe. Uh, let me fix that. <laughs> it's supposed to be red. Um, Sammy, hello, Carmen, Devin, welcome to the stream. Let me see if I can fix that really quickly. I know that my monitor is a little bit more red than everybody else's. And so that can sometimes, it can seem red to me. Uh, let me see if that's a little better. There we go. That's more like it. All right, fixed. <laughs> D-Dog, hello. Thank you, Eric Hart. I will not be at C2E2 this year. Um, I apologize for that. It is a warmer red. So um, this one is, I'm, I used my prawn marker. I usually, my favorite red is the strong red Copic marker. The prawn is a little bit more orange. I kind of use it for Mary Jane's hair, for instance. Um, and I know that Coffin Comics red is a little bit more on the warm than the cool red. And I could give a TED, TED talk on reds, but suffice it to say, I am going more to the orange side than my usual kind of cold blue vampire red, um, because that is a bit more in line with Coffin Comics red, if that makes sense. Shrimp red. <laughs> Timeless Echo, hello. Hello, Stanley, Mr. E, welcome to the stream. All right, so I am going to, she has like little, my plan is to give her like little tail kind of feathers at the end. Um, and I'm, I'm making the, the piece kind of disappear or turn sketchy at the bottom. Intentional sketchiness. Um, so there's that. And then I did have it planned that she would be wearing black gloves. But once I, uh, put in the wings, I realized that black gloves were not going to stand out. So I left her arms bare for the purpose of letting them be seen through the black wings, if that makes sense. Um, so I need to do the scythe and the ribbons up here. And her hair, I took the background color and I brought it in. So her hair is smaller right now than I intend it to be, but I'm going to paint over the background with white paint or white acrylic ink so that, you know, her hair has wispies and stuff. I didn't want it to look like a, like a helmet. So um, I painted in the background and now I'm gonna paint over with the white. Jeff Martin, hello. Yeah, red is red is cheating. It does make it pop. It's kind of an eye grabber. 
Okay, so um, I'm gonna get my prawn marker because I want the scythe to kind of start to disappear into the background. I'm going to, um, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm going to color this, the color of the background, and then add tone on top to make the scythe because I want it to disappear um, a little bit. So I'm gonna do that. I did the same thing with the wings. I colored through them completely in red and then colored dark on top of them so that they kind of mesh with the background. The only thing I did not do that with is Lady Death's skin for obvious reasons. <laughs> You'll doodle something close to this for her. <laughs> That's that's awesome, Mr. E. Audie, hello. Welcome to the stream today. So we are making this. This is very much an orange, orangey red. And then I added some of my strong red, which is more of your typical vampire red color, on, to, on the top of it. But I left it the, the plain prawn red at the bottom because I want it to be lighter so that her um, feather wispies stand out. Oh, thank you, Eric Hart. Well, she has been patiently waiting, did not nag me once about her commission. I very much like that. I hate being nagged. So she got on my commission wait list in 2017 at Fan Expo Canada, which is in Toronto, and I will be handing it over. <laughs> Fan Expo Canada 2021, fail dawn. <laughs> All right, and I think I'm gonna do the same thing here. If I decide to put little gold flecks in the ribbon, I will decide that at the time, but for right now, I just want it to mesh into the background. So the ribbon will be black, but I'm putting a red undertone in it. Ah, shit. Got a little dab on her finger. We're gonna fix that really quickly. Yes, it is, Eric Hart. Unfortunately, I don't have very much time to get to commissions. There we go, just gonna fix that. And I know I have a little spot right there too. Dab, dab. So this is just a Sakura jelly roll pen. You can get them for like two bucks at an art store or you can also get them at Michael's. All right, so that's done. Now, I'm gonna work, I'm gonna let that dry up a little bit. Copic marker is the ink, like the base of the ink is alcohol, uh, like rubbing alcohol, essentially. Um, so it does dry quite quickly. But I'm gonna do a quick little test run because in my head, um, I'm thinking to do cool gray on top of that. But I want to see how that looks. So we're gonna get a piece of paper. Hold, please. Karen, hello, welcome to the stream. I'm so glad you could make it. So this is for Karen. She is on the live stream. Yay. There we go. All right, we're gonna do a quick little test. Hi, Dawn. Divinica is en route to Bellevue. Where's Bellevue? <sighs> <laughs> Either way, en route is a happy word. Maybe it's two words. Um, but those are happy two words. <laughs> All right, we're going to do a quick little test run right here. So I have my prawn marker. As you can see, it's a little bit more orange. I'll show you guys the difference. Maybe you'll be able to see it here. Um, all right, and then I'm gonna get my favorite one, which is R46, it's called Strong Red. That's the difference between the two colors. So this is like my, this one right here is my standard red because I personally like the cold reds that have a little bit of a blue undertone. 
Uh, this is the prawn and it's got a little bit more of an orange undertone. Washington State, a suburb of Seattle. Ooh, nice. So David, uh, that you mean your um, your Divinica Genesis books? Yay! Da, 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 da. Thank you, Mr. E. Thankfully, you know, the, um, the wings were not that hard to do. <laughs> I'm pretty happy about that. <clears throat> so what I usually do is I do put prawn first whenever I'm working on anything red and then I put the strong red on top and together they are quite a powerful red tool. It just saturates my strong red a little bit more and takes it a little bit away from the blue. Anyway, okay, I need to stop. I'm getting too into the reds. What I need to do now is just fill a spot. So we're gonna pretend that this is the side. All right, so that's the background and I want to, um, I want to see how cool grays will work on this and then I'll go over it with um, colored pencil to kind of add a little bit more oomph to it. Yay, Carmen is in Twitch. Hello. So this is cool gray is, uh, it's like a, it's a bluish gray. It's what I always use for Lady Death's skin. So it's kind of looking a little bit purple right now, but let's see, you know, that's, that's not halfway bad. And maybe the cool gray is too blue and I need to just use toner gray. But then again, Where the hell is everyone? <laughs> yeah, you know, that's not bad. And then, <clears throat> excuse me, I'll go over it with, you know, some cool gray colored pencil to give it some texture. Muck it up a little bit. Yeah, that works. Okay, we're going to do that. Here comes the commission. So I'm going to start with C4, cool gray number four, like that. We're just going to give it one pass of color like this. And the reason why I painted it orange first is I want it to be picking up the, the ambient tones. True Dead Men, hello, welcome to the stream today. Now I don't need to worry too much about coloring uh, inside the lines of the ribbons because the ribbons are going to be black, so I'm going to cover them anyway, so it really doesn't matter, which is nice. I don't have to worry about that. Okay, so base tone is going in now. And I'm going to leave it lighter toned at the bottom where theoretically the blade part is. Did you see? I don't think I did. Clark Salvo, see you later. Thank you so much for stopping in to say hello. Garnot, hello. All right, I'm going to go take a look, Devin. Mm, Twitch. Oh, that's gorgeous. I had not seen that one before. 
Oh, Campbell's so good. <laughs> is this totally going to be a cover mark my words? I hope so. That would be fun. Uh, Carmen, uh, Karen did say that she's cool with me sending a scan to Coffin Comics. All right. Everything is loaded up. Okay. So now I'm going to use cool gray number five. Actually, I might even jump and do cool gray number six just to save myself some time. Hello, Julio-san from Mexicali. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Welcome to the stream today. Okay, so I'm just blending it out. Yeah, that looks weird. Sometimes some colors just don't end up looking very good with each other. So I have to I have to cover up more than I was intending to. That's okay. I'll just use colored pencil for any highlights. Albert Wen, thank you very much. Welcome to the stream. go. This looks ideal for a mystery envelope in a Kickstarter. <laughs> Yay. All right. Now I'm going to use cool gray number seven to just put some shadow right there coming from the handle. And then I'm going to go down to a five for the base part and let's put in some little ticks and shadows from all those You, Albert that is much appreciated yay all right so there we go we've got in the base 
for the scythe. Now it's going to be time for me to start putting in the uh, tones and colors. So this actually is almost the exact same color as the background, but it's very dark compared to the background. So I have to mix it with white if I want uh, a highlight that's got the orangey kind of look to it. Um, so I'm just going to try out a few things. I don't really know how this is going to look, but we're going to we're going to see now. Okay, so this is almost exactly the color of the background. Good to know. And I'm going to start putting in some of the red. Chasing Comics, hello, welcome to the stream. How are you doing? And thank you so much for following the other day. I don't know if you were around by the time I saw that you had followed, but it's great to have you here. All right, um, sharpener. This is the best sharpener I have ever uh, had in my life. It's a black wing sharpener. Uh, not exactly the cheapest, all things considered, but oh my god, it's so good. <laughs> Worth every penny. All right, see, look at, look at that point. That is the most amazing point ever. Unfortunately, I feel so bad about sharpening my pencils because, um, you know, it wastes them and these are so aggressively expensive, but I need a sharp point for this. All right, so this you're not gonna really see right now because it goes on quite dark and I have to mix it with white to make it pop. So for right now, you guys aren't really gonna see much of anything, but when I color over it with white, Something very glorious happens and it shows up really nicely, but it still has that tone. It brightens up this orange look. And then this will look like a nice highlight on the scythe. Fingers crossed, hopefully. If it doesn't, then I'm screwed. Quan, hello, welcome to the stream. I did not see because I'm new to this app. I'm still learning. Thank you for the warm welcome. Well, thank you for joining and for finding me here. Even though you're new to Twitch, I'm grateful that you found me. And I so appreciate all the shout out posts that you do. It's so awesome of you. Thank you so much. All right, I actually shouldn't. Never mind. Backing up. Meep, 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 meep. It's kind of nice though, you can just erase it. <laughs> All right, I do not want to highlight over here. That brings it forward. That is not what I'm trying to do. So I'm gonna put the highlights more over here and not have any highlights over here because I want it to drop back. It's behind her head. So bye-bye to that idea. No highlights over here. I'm just gonna put some of that color back in. None highlights. All right, we're gonna focus highlights here. Let's maybe do a little sideways swipey wipey. Okay, now we're gonna try it up here. Okay, now I'm going to add another layer 
of the orange on top. What are you guys doing? <laughs> I'm gonna zoom in a little bit more. Not super duper in focus, is it? Are you guys finding it a little bit out of focus? Let me see if I can fix that. <clears throat> well, that's worse. Well, that didn't fix anything, did it? Hello, Joanne, and James, and Jason. <laughs> Who's the lucky fiend I need to hunt down now? <laughs> that would be Karen. <laughs> I think it might just be the glare. Carol, or Carol, hello. Welcome to the stream. And then the highlight is going to fade as well as it goes into the background. <sighs> All right, now I'm going to use my darker of the two grays and I'm going to put shadow right up against the, the blade side and it was not dark enough. So I'm going to add some black in there. I'm just going to do a little pass of black and then go over it with the gray. Something kind of like that. <laughs> Thank you, Jason. Jeff, hello. Welcome to the stream today. So now I'm just blending out <clears throat> the black shadows a little bit.
you have the paper towel under to help with coloring? Honestly, Christy, what it's for is to um, protect the, the back of the book. If I have it on just my art boards or um, something like that, for starters, the book can slip sometimes. And secondly, it's to just protect the back because um, a lot of times, the if someone's gonna get their blank graded, um, CGC not only looks at the front of the back, they look at the back of the blank to um, check and see if it has any like scuffs or pencil shavings, anything like that. Any of the tools that you use for art, if they get on the back, then uh, it dings the collector's grade. So I'm just a little bit careful. Anarchy cometh, hello! <laughs> Welcome to this stream. Thank you so much for the raid. Wow, a party of 302. <laughs> the Anarchist Lady, thank you so much. Welcome everyone. Really appreciate it. Anarchist Lady, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome everyone. <laughs> so my name is Don McTagg. I am a comic book artist. Right now I am working on a comic book blank. So what that is is uh, up until a couple days ago, there was no art on this. It was just blank paper with the title right there. And so what I'm working on is drawing a lady death for a very wonderful and patient collector who has been waiting since 2017 for me to get this done. Oh, thank you, the anarchist. You are such a sweetheart. Please feel free to post your links, Anarchist Lady. I absolutely love to see what you are working on. And everybody, please go give Anarchist Lady a follow. <laughs> and um, usually I am working on a comic book series that I uh, co-create with my friend JP Roth. It is called Divinica. Oh, thank you, Philip, for posting Divinica's link. You can see some of the Divinica art um, at divinicashop.com and uh, it's all the comic book series that we work on is about goddesses from all different pantheons of mythology and their tales are woven together through our lead character Divinica. So I'll take a minute and show you guys the Divinica comic book series. Here we go. So this is issue five that um, I we finished a little while ago. Right now I'm working on painting issue six. So it's all hand drawn and painted. Um, and these are, this is what the inside of the comic book looks like. And the next issue, so this is issue five and it's talking all about the world that Divinica is in. And then in issue six, we're going to figure out um, more about her world and how she travels to uh, all these different goddess realms and various times and all of that. So it's really exciting. Her design is so good. I especially love her hair. Yay! Thank you, Mary. Much appreciated. Oh boy. And I have so many people to thank for following me. All right. Let me see. Colonel Fats, Mary Mocha, Lamacverse, Comic, Comicexis, Comigex, am I original flyboy, chocolate spring cat, and effective Andre. Thank you all so much for the follows. I will be working on um, all kinds of comic book art on Twitch. I live stream three times a week, Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays from 5 to 8 p.m. Mountain Time because I live in Calgary, Canada. <sighs> No one gets Sherlock. <laughs> uh, Don, she was working on Loki before I came in. Oh, sweet. All right, so I did, uh, most of this piece was colored with Copic markers. And uh, the last stream I was working on the um, sketch and inks, and then this time I'm working on finishing the colors. I've seen your art around before. I can't believe this is the first time I've seen your Twitch. Oh, well, thank you, Mary, for joining. 
<laughs> uh, thank you, the anarchist lady. Okay. So pretty soon I'm going to be moving into paint, but for right now I'm finishing up the colors. Well, the color pencils and Copic side of it. All right, so I feel that the staff needs to stand out a little bit more. So that's what I'm gonna be working on now is I'm taking, this is kind of a skin tone and I'm just going to put a bit more color in here because I need it to stand out a little bit more from her wings. Now her wings are gonna be tipped in gold. So that's gonna be happening pretty soon, but I still feel like this needs a little bit more highlight. So I have some black, white, uh, red, and then of course the lines. So this color is pretty much just mixing all of them together, <laughs> which is kind of handy. So it's picking up the red colored pencil and the black and softening it all up, but also helping it to stand out a little bit more. Oh, thank you, Mackieverse. Okay, a little bit more highlight. And I want it to just kind of trail off at the bottom and look like it's um, half finished. So that's why I'm leaving it kind of sketchy down at the bottom. All right, so now we are going to move on to the ribbons. For that, I'm gonna to use toner grays. Best guess on Divinica issue six release time frame. Whew. Um, I'm thinking, Jason, sometime around February or March. Um, we added, or <laughs> like Mr. E says, <laughs> March or April. We added a bunch more pages to the uh, issue that we're working on right now, have compressed a bunch of uh, pages. And so as such, I am back to layouts and sketches again. So if we um, hadn't added more to the book, <laughs> I would probably be done this month, but that is unlikely now. So um, yeah, sometime next year. <laughs> You guys of 2023, mean bullies. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna do tone of gray number six. Ooh, and also, guys, remember, November is coming. And for anyone who is new to my work, in November, we host a raffle on my website. Uh, my website is dawnmctagg.com. It's written right below me right here. Any orders off of my website will enter you into the raffle. And then for the month of December, I work on commissions that are prizes for the winners. So we will have at least 10 prizes going out. Um, and so definitely subscribe to my email list so that you are reminded as to when the uh, raffle starts. And oh, thank you, Mr. E for putting the links because that is definitely not something you wanna miss. All right, I'm gonna work on the ribbon. So right now I'm using a toner gray number six. It might be a little dark. No, it's not a little dark. Yay, Joanne, thank you. Also, if you haven't subscribed to my email list yet, um, you will get a 25% off coupon 
for subscribing. So um, now would be a good time to subscribe. You can always save that coupon for use during November and then you get your entry. Jag, jagged filigrin, I think, filigarin. Thank you so much for the follow. <clears throat> I am so sorry if uh, I said your name incorrectly. How long does it usually take you to complete an art piece? <laughs> That's a good question. I honestly don't know. <clears throat> Thank you, Jag. Is it Jagged? Should I just say Jagged? Desonia, hello. Thank you. Okay, so I just want there to be slight highlights. So I'm coloring in those spots with a lighter tone, it's T3. And then I'm going to get a really dark one, like T8 for the shadowed parts. Okay, and then I'm going to blend it out with toner gray number six. Blending out, switching to toner gray number eight. Blending it out with six. <clears throat> six might be a little dark. Let's go to five. <laughs> I love that what the fan art. It's in German, happens all the time. It's pronounced Iagfiligaren. But jagged works too. Oh no, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Is Iag Iag Liegerin? Oh boy, I'm so sorry. Jeremy, hello, welcome to the stream. Let me see if I can turn this a little bit. You don't have so much glare. There we go. A little less glare. <laughs> Justin, hello, welcome to the stream. I know we got such a big raid from the anarchist lady. Thank you again if you're still here, love. Really appreciate the raid. Can I pronounce it again? No, Juan. <laughs> I don't want to be totally ruining somebody's name because I don't know how to pronounce it correctly. Or more like they explained it to me and I'm a fail. Aw, thank you. Thank you for being so kind about the pronunciation. Zane, hello. Hey, to the corner with you, Zane. Hello and to the corner. Go. <laughs> Nader, hello. Self portraits. New corner record for you. Yeah, first statement. <laughs> Much love back, Iag. All right, back to the coloring. I think I'm gonna try to do this the other way around this time. And I'm gonna start with the toner gray number three and work up to the other colors.
And then next, I think I'm going to work on her hair just because um, it being unfinished like that is kind of starting to bug me. So I'm going to work on her hair next. <laughs> Kitty Stang, Rocksire TV, Chains Lightning, Not Call. Thank you so much for the follows, everyone. Really appreciate it. Oh, thank you, Jeremy. I know I'm so sad I couldn't make it to the show this time. I am so very sorry. And you know, the thought of that year there actually being badges with our art, it just means so much. JP Roth and I are very sad we couldn't make it. Yeah, Jin, we got a raid. And probably one of the biggest raids I've ever had in my whole time working on Twitch. So I appreciate it so much. Definitely going to need to pay that forward. And oh my god, I can't screw it up this time. <laughs> my, uh... Wonderful Twitch regulars know how very terrible I seem to be at actually executing a proper raid without um, raiding a channel that doesn't e exist or that, you know, is not active and not on at the time. I'm, I'm really quite professional at it. <laughs> Gladly I got to surprise someone in return. Well, it's so appreciated. Thank you so much for thinking of me. Delegate that raid responsibility. <laughs> I know. I really should. I think that mods can activate the raids, so maybe we should do that. Seems to me like something that Devin or Mr. E would be so much better at than yours truly. That happens with raids, it's not just you. Oh, really? Well, that's encouraging. I really thought maybe it was a just a me thing. <laughs> All right. So there will be more pizzazz added up there, I think. Um, but for now, I'm just going to put those ribbons and leave them like that. Um, and <clears throat> I guess I need to do this red ribbon right here. So never mind. We're not moving on to her hair yet. Almost. Need to attend to my cat because he's in zoomies mode. He'll be lurking for a while. Aw, thank you, the anarchist lady. I hope your kitty cat has a good afternoon and you as well. Thank you again for the raid.
There we go. Uh, I'll probably want to darken behind there and perhaps I should do that right now so that when I go to uh, paint in her hair, it's already dark. So I'm gonna try toner gray number eight here because I need to bring the um, scythe handle into the foreground a little bit more. So I'm gonna darken around this and push that area back. There we go, something kind of like that. Wait until you get from the front page rate of 4,000 people. Yeah. <laughs> Right. Time to paint her hair. Ah, I'm excited. All right. So for her hair, I'm going to be using white acrylic. Is this acrylic ink? Titanium white. Yes. Jeff Swan, hello, welcome to the stream today. So I'm using um, titanium white, and this is high flow acrylic. It's not particularly opaque. Um, so I might end up having to switch to something else, but for now I'm gonna give this a shot. If this doesn't work and it's not opaque enough, then I'll move into some of the other um, acrylics that I have. That would be so cool if he does, Philip. <laughs> I know we're not supposed to laugh, Quan. I apologize. <laughs> One of these days, yes, absolutely. I would love to be able to say yes. The problem that I'm in right now is that I have a hard time saying no. And I said yes a little more than I could handle. <laughs> Sorry, I really need to shake this. I haven't used this in months. All right, and I forgot my trusty brush at the, at my sink. I need to go get it. I will be right back. water to rinse it. Sorry everyone. This part I didn't quite plan correctly, did I? I'll be right back. Okay, now we're ready. <laughs> My sister is an artist, but she's been at a standstill. I should probably introduce her to Twitch artists and see if it motivates her. She draws sceneries. And they're mostly Van Gogh inspired. That is so awesome. Yes, for sure. I think that um, being able to hang out with other artists and talk with other artists about whatever, you know, one ha happens to be struggling with or whatever really makes a difference for sure. Dawn straight out laughed at my question. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so this is a very old brush that I've had for many, many years. Um, but it's really good for precision, precision painting. Um, it's mostly used, at least in comic land, as an inking brush. So I'm going to use this to ink and give her hair more wisps and stuff. It's why I pray every year to get a commission from the Twitch party, and yet every year I feel like I'm still in that commission list line. Aww. Okay. 
I'm sorry, you guys. I really am. Okay, so I'm just going to, I, I have lids with, let's get the dust off of it. I have lids that I use. So these are just old yogurt lids. They're great for little tiny bits of paint, especially I use it for like the acrylics and stuff like that that I can't wash off easily. Let's see if this is opaque enough. It may not be. But then again, it not being fully opaque actually looks quite nice. Because then I can just add more where I want it to stand out more. Yeah, I don't hate that. I've seen both digital and traditional artwork from you. Is your commission work strictly to tra traditional? This piece is looking amazing, by the way. Thank you, Maria. Um, mostly my commission work is traditional, yeah. If, uh, if I've done any digital on a commission, I'll like, that's because I'm gonna digitally color it and use it for a print or something like that. But mostly, uh, commission work is traditional, yes. I don't know that I've ever gotten a digital commission. I don't think so. Okay, so I really want this part to look really white too. So I'm adding some white in here. <laughs> send some smoke signals from the corner oh no <laughs> Zane please get out of the corner I'm so sorry <laughs> shoot all right I'm gonna have to go over this with something a little bit more opaque because as it dries the Copic marker is showing through I am happy for some show through, but not this much. It's a little, it's a little too much. I know, I keep le leaving people in the corner. Oh no. <laughs> I love watching other artists draw or paint because I'm learning tips regarding how to improve my technique. I haven't been painting in months, but I'm mostly working in oil. Cool. Digital drawing does feel a little bit weird. It takes a while to, um, to get used to that. Ah, and I just put my hand in the paint. Classic. Can you be gate? Yes, absolutely, Juan. Gatekeep away. <laughs> I 
I'm wondering if you're gonna like be merciful and try to make sure that other people don't have suffer the same fate of being forgotten in the corner or if you're gonna make everyone stay longer hmm <laughs> Bronk the rat. Thank you so much for the follow and welcome. <laughs> Don't let him. Everyone will be in the corner forever. <laughs> Matias, hello. Welcome to the stream. Aw, thank you. I do so enjoy drawing Lady Death. This is a little bit more time consuming to do layer upon layer on her hair, but I think it actually looks better because her hair is picking up some of the colors from the background and that kind of works for me. You're like Red Skull guarding the soul stone. Nice. <laughs> Like how many things you can do di digitally and always learning a new thing but I have to try doing it more often in order for it to become natural absolutely agree one thing that helped so much for me in transitioning to doing some things digital was getting a tablet I could actually physically draw on um, until I did that I couldn't make the jump <laughs> Soj King. No. Yeah, is it Soj King? Thank you so much for the follow. Outsider, good evening. Welcome to the stream today. Don, send someone to the corner. Don has no power in the corner realm. <laughs> You're in the market for a tablet, Jeff? Nice. Kent, thank you so much. And welcome to the stream.
Oh, you have Outsider? That is great. <laughs> That's awesome with the fan art. Spaghetti or breakfast for dinner? It is a spaghetti night tonight. No meaty balls. <laughs> Good memory, Jeff Swan. Meaty balls are on Thursday. I started with one of those two. It takes a while to get used to it, but you'll eventually adapt. You can make your sense of show when you draw, which can make it easier. How was Thanksgiving? It was great. Thank you, Devin. How was it for you? So I actually like that her hair is sort of haloed with the orange around. Um, it kind of ties her in, so that is that is a happy uh, accident, really. Might even pull her hair paint out a little bit further to carry on with that illusion and give her hair a little bit more glow to it. Yep, I'm not hating it. Be careful. I always go for the white of the chicken, Philip. I um I'm a I'm a chicken breast person. Jury days, thank you. All right, I don't know that I care for the, I don't know. Um, some things on her face are on notice with me, but for now, I'm gonna leave it. Okay, now it is time to do the trails. So I wanna get the, the wispy bits at the end, and I want it to look like, like dry brush, basically. So I'm gonna get one of these shitty brushes that I have. Which one is the shittiest? Near do this one. I think I have one somewhere in one of my drawers as well. Where oh where is my crappy brush? Ah, it's not in any of them. Oh, here it is. I think this is the perfect size for what I want. Yes, okay. So <laughs> it doesn't even have the, the handle anymore. We went to dinner with my dad's mom. Oh, wow. That is, that's so awesome of you guys, Devin. Okay, I'm just getting some toner. I need toner gray number 10. 
And I'm going to do a few varying T8. Okay, so I'm thinking T4, T8, and T10. So T10 is black for all intents and purposes. These ones are lighter tones, and I'm going to kind of give, try to give some depth by doing that. So I'm gonna start with the T4 and work my way up. And then before I add in any gold, I'm gonna do another pass of black over the tips of her wings because they need to be really black for the gold to shine on them. All right, so I've added a couple drops of toner gray number four onto my little palette thingy. There we go. Wisps number one are in. This is probably still wet, so I can't put, yeah, it's still wet, I can see it. Okay, now we're gonna go darker. And we're gonna go with toner gray number eight. Okay, and now I'm going to cover it really quickly. Let this dry out. Is this dry? Okay, it's dry enough that I can put a piece of paper on it. All right, here we go. We're gonna do some splatters. There we go. And I need to run and get my rubbing alcohol because I need to clean my little brush. Hold, please. So I know it looks like the, the wispies have now kind of confused where the feathers are, but don't worry. Oh, you're holding. <laughs> uh, don't you worry because the tips of the, the actual black wing feathers are going to be, um, they're going to be tipped in gold and I'm going to go over them again now with black marker. So that will help it all kind of have the proper depth because right now it has confused the depth situation a little bit. I want a little bit thinner, like maybe I'm gonna go with my thinner brush really quickly. Oh yay, thank you Stormy, and hello. So I'm going with the thinner brush, drying it off a little bit. Oops, and I dried it off too much. Now I'm gonna just go like this and scribble in her legs a little bit.
All right. Right. and where does my paper towel go so now I'm getting some rubber 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 <laughs> rubbing alcohol here and I'm gonna clean off my brushes because rubbing alcohol is the one thing that takes out Copic ink if I were to uh, take this and like try to rinse it out in water or dish soap it wouldn't wouldn't work so I'm just taking out the Copic ink because I want to use these brushes again for the dry brush um, gold. go all right put that over there close up the rubbing alcohol is it just me or does anybody else really like the smell of rubbing alcohol i love it <laughs> okay so i don't need this brush that goes away moving out my water you do? Yay! <laughs> I'm not the only one. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to take black. <laughs> it smells like clean, right? All right, um, I'm going to get my actual 100% black marker if I can locate it. Okay, 100 black. So this is just flat black, and I'm going to re-add some black in here because I want to darken up the wings that are in the foreground and again these are at least this is the plan is that they're going to be tipped in gold so they need to come into the foreground a little bit more and this happens with Copic marker it tends to fade um, and so you usually, if you want a really saturated color, which I do here for the black, you got to go over it a few times. And that'll help these grayer bits because these are like toner gray number four and number eight so it's going to help them kind of drop into the background a little bit squeaky squeaky
That's looking better. Okay, her hair is dry. How's Sherlock handling the new guinea pig? What? We don't have a guinea pig. We do have a bunny rabbit outside though, who has, it seems he's adopted us. He's either sitting in on the side of our house or in our backyard and just facing the windows and giving us the death stare. It's really something. So I have, I've, uh, I don't know if this is not allowed or whatever, but I put out a couple carrots for the bunny because <laughs> he looks so hungry. Oh, I see the sound of the pen. I get it. <laughs> Sorry. Ted, hello, welcome to the stream, right? Lucia is Ted. The killer bunny. <laughs> yes, we've named him. Okay. So I've almost got this redarkened. There we go. I'm gonna get a few bigger splatters going on here. Sometimes those paint brushes can just do these really tiny, sp like, I don't know. It's just very even splatter. I want some bigger, bigger splotches. So I'm doing that now. There we go. All right. I believe it is gold time, as long as we still want the gold. I think we want the gold, but how are we feeling, Karen? <laughs> Just to put you on the spot there. Nope, wrong one. I'm gonna fix her nose really quickly. We always want the gold, says Zane. <laughs> Karen says, absolutely, yay. All right, I just wanna put the shadows in. I kind of missed giving her hand here proper shadowing. I'm gonna be done with this pretty soon, but that's fine. I have another commission to switch to once this one's finished.
You like the Lady Death versus Hell Witch. Thank you. Yay. That's so awesome to hear. <clears throat> I'm so happy you liked it. Yeah, the the Wargasm Kickstarter starts tomorrow, right? So I'll be posting my cover. Definitely most difficult cover I've done yet. That was complicated, but I know a bunch of you were on live stream when I was working on it, which is very cool of Brian to let me do that. 25 hours, whoop, whoop. Thank you, Joe. So I'm using the lighter colors just to blend. So I'm using the white and it's just kind of smooshing all the, the colored pencil around. So I was looking up colored pencil for a few various reasons and I found out that as far as I know, <clears throat> These colored pencils that I use are the most light fast on the market. But bam. <laughs> All right. There we go. I like gold. Let's do it. Gold time. <laughs> you know, this is all purely theoretical. I haven't actually tried this, so we need to make sure this is actually gonna look good. All right, so this is the colors that I'm gonna be using. It's pinata, and it is gold. I just need it to mix. I need to hear the little ball. There we go. So this stuff is alcohol-based uh, gold, but it is sticky and annoying but it is probably the most um, saturated of the golds that I have. So I have a few different types and I don't, I don't like using this one very often just because it's so sticky, but I think here it'll, it's appropriate. <laughs> yeah, Justin. Fearlessly godly and swamp wave live. Thank you both for the follows. Hello, Steph. Yes, we are bringing the kapow now. Here we go. Pinata, gold. So I've got this little thing here. That stuff is already dry. So hopefully if I just uh, use a little corner of this, we should be fine. I'm planning to use this brush right here. It's a little bit thinner. And I think it'll give the gold tipped look um, that we're going for. So the pinata is shaken. I'm going to do a little test though, because I don't want to screw this up. So <laughs> viva pinata, nice. All right, um, we're going to test run this situation really quickly. Just need to move this out of the way. Here's my test paper. You guys are gonna join me over here. All right. I wanna see, actually putting it over the color of the background will work perfectly. All right, so here we go. We've got ourselves the black tone that I'm using. You're nervous, Joe? <laughs> me too. Nervous but excited. All right, so let me get a little bit of this. If I can get it open. Oh shit. <laughs> Artist problems, weak AF hands. And Dan's not home. Help, somebody help me. Let me see if I get this a little tiny bit wet. Use my teeth. I do have pliers in the other room. If need be, I will 
get myself the pliers. <laughs> I know. Well, this is anticlimactic. I want to add gold, ma'am. Oh, there we go. Oh, yes, we're getting it. Good morning, Che. Ugh. Yes. Don one, pinata top zero. Success. <laughs> there we go we've got ourselves the gold I know I am so weak okay so just gonna dab off a little bit because dry brush is what we're going for Aha. so it looks like dry brush I don't need to dab off so that is on black. Let's take a look at it, see how it sparkles and shines. Kapow! <laughs> so much kapow! Look at that! Oh my goodness! <laughs> so happy. All right, we are going to have kapow fun now, my friends. Kapow fun and happiness. Yes, so shiny. Just gonna put the lid back on that. All right, so this stuff is gonna dry out before I have a chance to even use it all. Now, um, you know, less is more. <laughs> and don't let me forget it, you guys. <laughs> I'm gonna get so excited about the Kapow, I'm gonna put it every fucking where. And I don't need to gold tip every wing tip. That is unnecessary but body frame oh yes yes see how this looks. Just a little bit of fun kapow. I'm going to turn the light so I can see this a little bit better. The gold gives it more of a 3D effect. Excellent. That's really what I was hoping for, especially to bring the, the wing tips forward. 
Otherwise, yeah, like you said, mystery, it can it can kind of drop drop everything back. So this way, got ourselves a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna see about. Yeah, just doing that. We're just gonna do a little bit and I'm probably not gonna do it on all of them just a few there we go all right we'll take a look at it so that's they look black from one angle and kapow from the other angle. Kapow! <laughs> there we go. Now the other side. Is anybody else holding their breath? Sorry. Okay, I just need this to dry really quick. To dry for me and then I can move on. Because I'm, I'm an idiot and I started on the right hand side. Just the tops of the feathers near the bottom. Oh. Sorry. I had planned to do the tips of the feathers because I want to bring these forward. So um, I'm, I'm mostly going to do the center. It's kind of a framing element for her body. I need to add a little bit more. All right, I need to shoot this up. It's drying and getting all sticky now. So it kind of starts turning into like a, a jelly consistency as it dries, because the pinata paint is alcohol-based as well, just like the Copic ink, and so this, this stuff dries really, really fast. I'm gonna have to fix the lid. Something is wrong with it. Okay, and again, I'm taking it around all the feathers in the foreground because I do want, want the framing element to be clear. You know, that these ones are in front of her and then the little bits that you're seeing in the back, those are behind her. So that's why I'm kind of focusing some of the gold and highlights in these ones in the foreground. Like that. I'm going to do a second coat on some of this. Oh, thank you, Jeff Brigante.
Okay, is anybody else only okay? Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Thank you, Steph Jones. Though the bridge is working great. I just, um, <clears throat> I, uh, I'm working, I don't know, I just didn't need it at this very moment. That isn't to say it isn't needed. I use it all the time. I need a little bit more. Oh, I can't get it open again. Damn it. G. Bro Ramon, thank you so much for the follow. <clears throat> Okay, a little tiny bit more gold. Don't need that much, but I think all the ink is dried in the lid, so I'm gonna have to soak it or something. All right, there we go. Maybe some gold splatter? Maybe. All right, so Kara, hello. Welcome to the stream, love. There we have it. There is much kapow now. <laughs> Karen, you have kapow. <laughs> There's no way I'm going to be able to get that back on. I need to cover. Is this dry enough? Yeah, it's dry enough for a piece of paper. Okay, that's just to protect her skin. Get ourselves some gold flex. So much kapow. Mm. 
I'm going to dry this off and just put a little, little tiny bit of gold here so that it shines. Okay, now <clears throat> I am going to, what am I going to do? Clean this brush for starters. Thank you, that other gym guy. Really appreciate it. All right, I need to clean my brush because even more than Copic marker, this shit it doesn't come off. So I've got to clean it right away. Thank you all so much for hanging out while this one's being done. So appreciate it. I'm just cleaning it on a paper towel. Sometimes I'll like think of something, you know, once the stream is over and decide I want to fix something, but I mean, for right now, I think this one is pretty much complete. There's her wings. Her sides. Just trying to think, do I want more dark colors up at the top? Now I just need to look and decide. Oh, thank you, wet the fan art. <laughs> Putting some light highlights on this. Hopefully get, bring a little bit more depth to it. Thank you, Juan. Yay, Jin! Thank you! Now I must think. Hello, Sir Wiggy McSwiggity. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining in. Welcome to the stream.
Retro Eclipness, welcome to the stream. Thank you for joining. Oh, and thank you for the follow, Sir Wiggy, right? Was it Sir Wiggy? Sir Wiggy, yes. I just need to add uh, back in some color, I mean some detail on the skulls here. And some highlights. Siama, hello, welcome to the stream today. Bladex, thank you. So I'm just using the Jelly Roll pen to add like a bright white highlight in the center of all the different, um, of all the little highlights that she has. It'll just make it pop more. Garnot, thank you so much. Good night. Thank you for hanging out today. I hope you have a wonderful evening. Of drying, yes. Thank you, Digley. Sinara, thank you so much for the follow and welcome to the stream. All right, I believe we are almost done. Not quite though. I wanna um, punch this out in a few spots and usually the Sakura jelly roll works pretty well for that. I have to be careful because there's a lot of the whites that I use, like white paint and stuff that looks really white when you're when you're working on, you know, any kind of toned paper or any kind of 
color aside from on white, white paper. Um, sometimes then it doesn't really look like white and it looks yellow. Um, and I really wouldn't want to do that with Lady Death's hair by accident. Just need to get her arm inked back in. Everything dry? What's my best white fine liner? In my opinion, the Sakura Jelly Rolls are the best ones that I've tried. Um, and I've, I've used a fair few, like I've tried the Uniball ones and from my personal experience, they are not, uh, they're not very good, <laughs> in my opinion. Now, um, you know, maybe since then they've updated or made better ones, but I felt like they were not very opaque and they dried out quickly. Um, the Sakura Jelly Rolls last forever. Um, so I've pretty much found these and stuck with these for a fair few years now. Um, and then also I use the Molotov um, pens here. Molotov paint pens or Molotow. They're acrylic paint pens, and these are awesome. So I use them quite a bit as well, and I'm going to use them right now. <sighs> no, you're not. Using paint pens is not an idiotic thing at all. They're, they're great. I use them too. Make, get the tens for better ink flow. I don't know if I have tens. Oh, I have eights. What? Straight up stuck in the lid. Weird. Okay, let's see if this is going to work. Maybe it's a dead one. I don't know. All right. So you just have to activate it by pressing. And then watch out because it does like to splooge. You have Posca? Oh, well, that's great. Those work great too. I just found the Molotovs only from the ones I've tried, right? I bought a bunch of Poscas and I bought the Molotow or Molotovs. Um, I found that the Molotovs had a little bit more opaqueness to them, I felt. And the Poscas, I had to add a couple layers to get the the opaqueness that I was hoping for. Um, but that really just depends on you, what you're working with, and it could have just been I had a bum, bum set, so. Okay, so I'm just using this to add a little bit more opaque tone. Did I need it? So believe it or not, this Molotow is whiter than the paper. So the paper, I guess, has a little bit, little tiny hint of warmth to it. And I mean, that's normal. You'll end up with, you know, the paper itself is, you know, you'll get a bright white paper or art papers a lot of times have a slight amount of warmth to them. And it looks like this one does. I mean, that's only if you're being really, really picky, and I am, so I, I notice it, but otherwise it still looks like white paper. Oh, you haven't heard of paint pens before? 
Yeah, well, I had it until pretty recently as well. And uh, just so you know, the Molotov ones are refillable. I have wasted many a marker because I didn't know that. They're kind of like Copic markers where you can get new, um, you can buy new nibs for them. You can buy refill ink refills. It's crazy. Okay, I might want to lighten some of this up a little bit. So I'm basically using the white here as a highlight in her hair. And I'm trying to go over some of my lines because I don't need them to be quite so dark. I thought that they were going to look super light because I used the um, the cool gray inking pens, but as compared to everything else, they're still looking a little dark. So I'm lightening this up a little bit. They really do. Um, this is my, I call it my dab pad, also splooge pad. So I always have a napkin, I collect them. Um, and the nice thick napkins work really well for all the extra marker splooges, which happen. So I always have one close by because sometimes it, it, it looks fine when you open the lid and then you start coloring, you're like, oh my God, <laughs> run. So having somewhere to uh, put that is very helpful. I know the phrasing is strong today. Is this gonna be a print? Um, not from me. Um, but what I do with uh, Lady Death Commissions is I scan them and I send a copy to Brian or Coffin Comics and then it's up to them if it becomes a comic book cover or not or whatever they're gonna do with it. So I will uh, be sending this on to them. Good evening TV! Is the splooge gonna be raffled off? <laughs> no, it won't be.
could be auctioned as an abstract. <laughs> yeah, possibly. So Karen, I think that this, uh, this particular gold stuff, it really sticks. So you're not going to run into an issue of it like flaking off or something, which is a possibility sometimes with um, other types of gold um, paint. Like sometimes watercolor gold paint, I'll use a binder in it, like additional binder um, to keep it from flaking off as it dries. But this stuff is glue. <laughs> Yeah, you're not going to be able to get it off if you wanted to. But yeah, so this is where it's at right now. Um, I'm going to do a few little highlight spot checks here and there. I feel like there's a few more places with the ribbon that it needs to be highlighted. Can't wait to see you at Fan Expo. Love the personalized message from Fan Expo Calgary. <laughs> Did I, was there a personalized message? But yay, I can't wait to see you there too. Jury Days, thank you so much. Oh, okay, Peter. <laughs> Yay. I I remember now. Sorry. <laughs> Shitty memory. Uh, what happens at a con is kind of like what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and it's an alternate universe. <laughs> My uh, memory of con stuff sucks. Oh, yes, jury days. I do not have myself set up for subs. What I really appreciate, though, is subscribing to my email list. It's free. Um, and that's really what I appreciate. And if you want to support me in any way, then, um, getting prints off of my website is the best way that you can support me. Um, and I would like to give you something for the support. Hence, prints. <laughs> True. So, you know, with the whole what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas, how does that work, Mr. E, if you live there? I suppose you're staying in Vegas, so it stays with you. Oh, thank you, Jury Days. Much appreciated, truly. My Schubert, thank you for the follow. Guys, I really appreciate all the support today. It makes me so happy. I don't know, Mr. E, I guess I... Uh, you're um, on my mind a lot <laughs> in a non-creepy way. <laughs> Plus, I'm always pestering Devin. This time you get pestered. I was making Devin English for me, translate for me, <laughs> fact check. 
want slightly darker blacks and this colored pencil is like midnight black and it's super flat black which is really handy because then you're not gonna deal with as much I don't know fade and shit you have a good Thanksgiving? I did. Thank you, Kevin. There's a resume skill, Canadian to English translator. Oh, I need that. I know. Lady Anarchist is so amazing. Thank you all so much for joining her on the raid and sticking with us. You guys are awesome. Have fun, Kara. Enjoy the movie night. Chris Clacker, thank you. Is this stuff dry? It is. So I have to be super careful on this side because this is right by the spine. Now Karen says she's not getting it CGC graded, glory be, but still, nothing against CGC grading, shit. It is just more stressful because you really have to watch everything. But still, I'm going to treat it as if it were to be graded just to be safe. You don't want to beat up somebody's book. Aw, thank you, Rocky Road. Welcome to the stream. Can't wait to get some Missing Divinica issues and a Van Helsing print. Yay! Looking forward to seeing you there, Peter. Ryan Lima, thank you. This one's going on your wall. Yay, Karen! Now, I always, you know, sit and look at these. I usually sit on this kind of stuff. Like with covers, for instance, I like to sit on them. Figuratively speaking, I have never physically sat on a cover. Um, but I do like to wait a bit before turning them in because I always notice stuff, you know? Something's off, something's bothering me, it doesn't look right. Maybe I'm going to want to do a second coat of gold. Who knows? But that's the kind of stuff that waiting a couple days benefits you with. Happy. No, hap? Hap hi? Thank you so much for the follow. <laughs> so I will be thinking about this one for a little bit. Um, but yeah, I think we're done. Yay! Finished in a live stream. What is happening with me today? Well, I, I was pretty much almost done already. So it's not very fair.
Yay, thank you, Peter. I'm glad it looks like they're popping off the page because I'm trying to bring them forward. That's why we did the gold-tipped wings. Never, Juan. Let's see how the back is looking. It's pretty clean. I... No? Thought maybe I got some paint on it, but I did not. Happiness. Clean back. All right. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sign this yet because I may scan it before I sign it. So, is there any word on the Christmas shop prints? Not yet, but they're coming. So in November is when we're doing the Christmas contest. Hip, hip, hooray. Um, so more details are coming. We are working on it. Just shipped off the last bit of the stuff I was signing and packing and all of that. So we just shipped that out today. <laughs> Hopefully it'll arrive at the warehouse next week or soon because November is almost here. As long as the I think about it phase isn't as long as the commission wait you're set. <laughs> yes. Well, I do need to physically hand this over to Karen at Toronto Fan Expo Canada. When is that? The 21st? I will see you there, Karen. <laughs> Tadpole Legs, thank you for the follow. Well, that too, Juan. Yes. It all is very much website based. Okay, now I'm looking for my other commission. We have 30 minutes, 20, because I want to raid and I want to make sure that I do the raid correctly. So, not trying to screw that up. So we have two options for the remaining time. Uh, I have this piece that I'm working on. Hmm. Zoom out a little bit. So I've got this one. Kitty and Lockheed, or I have the Aphrodite watercolor page. I will go get it. We can decide what will be next for the last 30 minutes since we finished Lady Death early. Here we go. So this is an interior page for Divinica issue six. This is the page about the goddess Aphrodite. So I was working on her with you guys um, last stream. No, the, the stream before last stream. This is done in watercolor and mixed media. Potentially there will be oil paint on it as well. We won't know till we get there. So. Two choices, working on Aphrodite some more, probably continuing on with this section right here, or working on Kitty Pride, and it's pretty much just working on Lockheed's wings. Oh, thank you, Jin. So, I guess the first five people to answer, I will make that the vote. So we have one vote for Lockheed, four more people. Shadowcat from Juan. Okay, the little devil guy. All right, wings. That was a, um, oh, Divinica. <laughs> well, you guys weren't the first ones to answer, so Lockheed wins. And you know what? It's probably just enough time for me to finish that. All right, Kitty Pride and Lockheed win. Uh, Karen, thank you so much for hanging out for the live stream. I know that the timing of my live streams with the time difference between us is not the best for you. So thank you so much for hanging out anyway. Um, I had so much fun working on this piece. Massive applause and props to Karen for having so much trust. Um, I'm glad I didn't betray your trust with this and I actually, after how many years, someone math for me, 2017, four years of waiting. <laughs> I apologize. Hangs head in shame. Ding, ding. Thank you, Karen, for your patience. I hope that you are pleased 
with the final. I look forward to handing it over to you in person. Hip, hip, hooray. <laughs> Oh, thank you so much. Gold tipped wings. So and there's some gold splatter at the bottom and just little wing wispies. And now I'm gonna move on to Kitty Pride and Lockheed. I need a new, aw, you're so sweet, Karen. Well, you know, I, I definitely like to think that um, the weight got you a better artist. <laughs> Four years of the School of Hard Knocks, perhaps, helped. <laughs> anyway, it's the only way I can kind of make myself feel better that, well, at least everybody's getting a better artist four years later. Will there be a kitty print during the Christmas shop update? I am not sure, Rocky Road. I will have to check with that. And checking, that would be, I'm gonna ask my manager slash husband because I have no idea. All right, here we go. Bye bye, Lady Death. So much love to you, Karen. Thank you for your patience. I need a bigger board. Four years ago, there wouldn't have been any watercolor. That's right, or any gold paint like this. So, at least there's that. Here we go, kitty pride time. Ah, uh, move Lady Death over there. I'll be there to receive the commission as Karen's courier. <laughs> nice. All right. Um, I feel like for this one, it is catching a lot more glare, so I'm turning down the light a little bit more. Yes, yes. Okay, <clears throat> it's perfect. I needed these and I needed toner grays. So we are all sorted. We can just move right on to this commission. It's kind of all the same tools. So this is done on toner, toned paper. Um, let me see. Uh, this was gold ink Rocky Road. Unfortunately, I can't get the lid closed, but it's pinata paint. It's by uh, Jacquard alcohol ink. So you can get this stuff as, at like, it's like a craft store item. You can get it at Michael's, any kind of maybe Hobby Lobby. We don't have that here, but maybe. Um, yeah. And it's alcohol based. It dries like jello. It's really intense stuff, but the, uh, it retains its its brilliance really well. So this is kind of the stuff that they use. Um, <clears throat> this is kind of the stuff that they use for, you know, those alcohol ink pours and stuff. Yeah. No, oh, thank you, Mr. E. All right. All oh, right, I was gonna show you guys what paper this is. It, uh, I can't get it out right now. Phrasing. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's a gorm tonal paper or toned tan, I think it's called. So I'm using a toner gray number four right now. And I'm just going to start putting in some depth in his wings. Toner gray number three. So I'm using two, three, and four. We'll see which ones I end up <clears throat> using for the most part. So I feel like this piece needs more contrast. You ordered the tan paper? Oh, yay! <clears throat> so one thing with the, I've noticed with this tan paper is that when, um, 
when you first put down the Copic marker, it looks a lot darker. Like the, I'm used to that because Copic marker and watercolor and a lot of the mediums that I work with do dry lighter and paler than they look when they're wet. Um, but I would say this toner paper is much more of a pronounced change than any other ones that I work with. Tips for drawing men's eyes. You know what, Anarchist Lady? Um, I'm, I don't have a ton of them right now. I would say the one thing that I'm learning is they need to be more, more like a, a, a forced rectangle, like more this shape than a, than a round or almond shape like a woman's eye. And I know that like, theoretically, you know, their eyes are not more like that in real life, I would say. There's plenty of men with big round eyes and stuff or almond shaped eyes, but just you exaggerate what you're trying to exaggerate as far as the art itself. Now, bear in mind, I am a comic book artist. I'm not realistic or anything like that, but um, I've got a fair few pages right now where I need to draw dudes like a lot and fight scenes and all kinds of stuff like that. And um, yes, I'm, uh, I'm finding that, for me at least, if I make them more forced like this, smaller, it doesn't, you don't need to make them smaller like width-wise, but just make them more of a slit, you know? Kind of more like this. Um, it does somehow look more manly and I make the eyebrows much straighter and a little closer into the eye. And at least those are the things I'm trying right now <laughs> to not draw. I always draw women. So I would say that my, um, my comfort as far as drawing men is not nearly where it should be. Not even close. Gray and blue. I haven't actually done anything with them, but I have them. I do some work on black paper. Ooh, cool outsider. I don't, oh, I guess I've done some black uh, blanks. I find working on black paper so challenging. How do you sketch on that outsider? Hmm. Maybe your lady eyes are too square. That's possible. Round them out a little bit might make them look more feminine. I, I haven't seen, I'm not speaking from actually knowing Jin, but uh, those are kind of the, the differences that I'm working on as far as facial structure in drawing a man versus drawing a woman. I know, I totally hear you, the anarchist lady. Hardly draw men too, 90% of the time I draw women, so more angular, yeah. More angular, you know, make them more, like, we're exaggerating, but make them more this shape than, you know, a round girl eye. Of course, everything that we're doing, if you're drawing anything besides photorealism, it is exaggerated in some way. So I'm thinking that those are the features I need to pull out more. Oh, thank you, Philip. I normally just draw dudes, haven't drawn a lady in a while. Totally get that. I think I've got some comments to catch up on. I'm gonna I'm gonna check in just a minute. Yep, as this has dried, 
I, I feel like I need to add more contrast, even to the stuff that I thought I was finished with. Damn it. Ray did Jesus, thank you. Don, I had a teacher say fan art is illegal and I can get sued, but I see so much of it. Any advice? I don't want to get in trouble. No, fan art is totally fine. Um, you know, and you can also, you, as long as you state that it's fan art or you do, um, and then commissions are definitely something that a lot of people do. Um, and then, you know, if you are actually, um, doing fan art in such a way that you are like redrawing a cover that somebody has already done or something like that, it is called an homage. Would all your Hellwitch prints be found on Coffin Comics site? I don't know if all of them, but any ones that there are will be on Coffin Comics site. Kaylee Elise, hello, thank you so much for the follow. Yes, that's right, Jason. It gets shady once a fan art prints are a thing. Yes. Predominantly drew muscular male superheroes. Now it's all about slender and curvy ladies. Nice. Oh, for real, Zane? <laughs> I feel like when I, um, <clears throat> pulled this one out of my drawer, I was surprised at how um, lacking it was in contrast. So I'm kind of pushing it a little bit more, getting some darker colors in here. And you know, it's just, it keeps lightening. And then I'm like, oh my God, where did all my shading go? Damn it. So I'm probably just gonna have to add a lot more than I think it needs. Yeah, see, even that lightened a ton. Okay, T2, I'm gonna get T3, and then maybe T1. I'm going to go a little darker because I have a feeling it's going to dry really light.
it's scaring me <clears throat> to go this dark, but then it dries so light. I guess it just looks super dark when um, uh, the page is, the paper is wet and then it'll lighten up. But my goodness, it's a little bit scary. T6 is what I'm going to try for that here. And then I'm going to be darkening up um, <clears throat> the lines quite a bit. So I might, for the black part on her suit, I might actually darken that up too. But these areas definitely need to be more in shadow. And I won't really know what it's going to look like or how dark this actually is until it dries, unfortunately. Okay. A little bit more shadows. Lockheed needs the shadows too. Especially here. And then his wing would be casting shadow on him. So I'm darkening up his, his torso area and kind of in where his legs are too. And his foot. I think I'm going to go with black lines for um, some parts of her face, especially her lashes or maybe dark brown. Let's see. <clears throat> it's easy to go darker uh, with ink, not so easy to lighten it afterwards. So I'm going to start with the, um, the Copic markers in brown. They're kind of dark. Oh yes, this definitely plays with the 
the um, tone tanned paper and I think I'm liking it. See you later, what the fan art. Have a wonderful evening. Yeah, the whole music situation, I've just, um, I'm playing it safe and just not playing any music. Just because I, um, I know that there are rules and Twitch is working on it and they're trying to come to agreements and make things a little bit easier for all the creators involved, but, and I appreciate that, but I just honestly don't really know what, which ones are right. And plus I turned on music a few times and people were like, no, thank you. <laughs> You like the streams better without the music. Yeah, um, and that's that's great. It makes it easier for me. Then I don't have to worry that I'm screwing up. Thank you, the anarchist lady. I appreciate the rage so much. Made my day. I hope you have a fantastic evening. Thank you, love. I'll make sure to pay it forward, which we're going to do right now. What kind of music do I like? Um, I listen to, in this moment, I pretty much like angry teenager music. <laughs> um, I like in this moment... I really am enjoying, um, what are they called? Palais Royale right now. Just discovered um, them through uh, my teenage daughter and her friends. Well, my daughter heard the music from one of her friends, said she thought I would like it. <laughs> Yes, we are going to raid. Alucard the X and Candelar. Thank you so much for the follows. All right. My angry teenager music was System of a Down. Nice. <laughs> yeah, so one of my favorite songs right now is Anxiety. I think I told you guys that last time. Anxiety from Palais Royale and all things in this moment. All right, you guys, we need to get a raid going. Time to pay it forward. I'm going to just move out of my actual, I'll go to my channel. The Anarchist Lady and all of the wonderful people that joined her to raid me, thank you so very much. It means a ton. I appreciate it. 
Um, yeah, we're heading to the abyss. Oh man, I hope not. Let's see, who shall we raid tonight? I'm gonna show more, see who's all is on. Should we raid Rika Draws again? Tropic? I'm seeing. Yours was Rage Against the Machine. Nice. Just seeing what they're doing. See what Tropic is doing. Trying to enjoy art again. Working on an original character. Aw, awesome! Should we go raid Tropic? Okay. Raid. Is it wait? Raid T R O P I C O two Tropic O two. All right, I'm getting the raid going. Checking to make sure. Yes. All right, I am being as careful as I possibly can. <laughs> Thank you all so much for joining me. Thank you everyone who joined the Anarchist Lady um, in raiding me today and for sticking with me. Thank you so much. Please always feel free to subscribe to my email list, follow me here, and I will be working on more art on Thursday. I love you guys. I'll see you later. Fingers crossed that I got the raid correct this time. And everyone on Facebook, thank you also for being here. I will see you guys next time. Good night and much love to everyone. I'll see you later. Let's go raid.